The summer in BC has been unlike anything we've seen before. A deadly heat wave, destructive wildfires, record-breaking droughts. And the thing is, with the climate changing, this could very well be our new normal. And so how do we live with these hotter summers in the future? Well, it turns out planting more urban forests might be the solution. You know, you can get two to five degrees of cooling just by having plenty of canopy. We had the chance to experience the cooling effects of tree canopies while visiting Dr. Stephen Shepard on the UBC campus. So basically in places like this, uh, where there's no shading, we've got asphalt, which is fairly hot, we've got concrete, uh, there's no cooling from shading, and so no one would really want to sit here. You wouldn't leave your, your granny in a, in a, in a you know, to, to wait for you to pick her up in a hot place like this. But just a few blocks away from the sunny spot, we found this. It is so much cooler in here than it was yeah, it's, it's on the sunny street. Yeah, and, uh, and still some wind, you know, so it's mixing. Last summer, UBC partnered with the city of Vancouver to prove the benefits of urban forests. They had people ride around on bicycles with sensors that took the temperature in areas without any shade and then in areas with tree canopies and found a huge difference. And so the city decided to take steps to increase urban forests. This map shows the current coverage in different neighborhoods, but they set a goal of reaching 30% tree canopy coverage by 2050. They took the first steps towards this goal last year when they planted 150,000 trees. But Dr. Shepard says it isn't just up to the government to make this goal a reality. Up to you know, a third to a half of our trees and our canopy in the city usually comes from private land. And that's where we've seen the declines in canopy. And so what we need is a lot more people planting trees in their own front and backyards. And our jobs aren't done once the trees are planted. We also need to make sure we're watering them regularly, especially in drought conditions like we've seen this summer. But Dr. Shepard adds that urban forests alone won't save us. Everybody needs to cut their footprints pretty much in half by 2030. We need to actually change our actions to hopefully change the warming trends that we have been seeing.